G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Birdhouse. In this episode I will be making birds from the South America region. Uh, there are too many birds in the South America region that are in this mod pack, so I will be splitting this into two parts with the other four birds from South America in the next video. So I hope you don't mind. The birds that are in this video though are the turquoise bra browed motmot, I think that's how you say it, the brown booby, the andine condor, and a few different species of macaw. And I'm really happy with how the macaw enclosure turned out, and quite happy with the brown booby enclosure as well. It's it, The brown booby enclosure is sort of like a rocky beach if you weren't wondering, it's also the one I'm building right now. Um, the mods I am using for these for the birds are the bird watching mod and also zoo and wild animals mod. I will link both of the mods in the description so you can find them out and download them and play with them yourself and have fun building your own birdhouses, I guess. <laughs> um, I do really quickly want to say I want to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year so if you can it doesn't hurt from what I know um, please subscribe it helps me out a lot and it will make me really happy I don't see a reason not to subscribe if I'm gonna be honest um, I'm also with that I'm gonna try upload more so I've been trying to upload once a week every Friday night and I'm currently recording this on Friday night and it probably won't be uploaded till uh, midnight tonight because it takes a while to process and edit and all that <laughs> but yeah so with these enclosures um, I have done a jungly area for the macaw a deserty area for the Andine condor and a sort of just foresty area for the um, the turquoise browed mop mop. I feel like I could have made it more jungly, but it was the picture I had in my head at the time. And I also looked up photos, and they sort of look like they lived in small forests or jungles. But I went with a forest because it. I didn't want to build two jungles right next to each other. And they've also got uh, a pathway up top so you can see the macaw closure from two angles, from above and from the ground. And the turquoise browed mot mot is also up the top there. You'll see it soon. I'll, I'll be building it soon. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I will turn the music up and I will meet you at the tour of the South America enclosure. Talk to you later.
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that part of the time lapse. It's a new thing that I want to start doing where I'm not talking the whole video and I just leave some time for you guys to sit there quietly and watch while listening to some music. I might eventually change up the music from the Minecraft music um, if anyone has any suggestions but it sort of needs to fit the channel and the, like, the channel aesthetic I guess you could call it. Um, so I did the Brazil flag because it was, it's like the well, it's the most, it's in my opinion, the w most well-known place in South America. Um, the other place I would call pretty known well is, uh, Chile, but I feel like, um, Brazil is the best one. And there's a little thing of South America there as well. So I added some plants as an example of what lives in South America. I believe the Slaymore also lives in America, but yeah, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to say hello to the turquoise browed mot mots. Um, there's one there. He's just observing the, the beautiful wall. Anymore? I saw one. Oh, there's two there now. <laughs> oh, they both got different backs. One has an orange back, and one has like a a terracotta, like normal Minecraft terracotta back. <laughs> That's the best way I could call the color. Could also be a pink. Um, I know there's more in here, but I just don't see them right now. But yeah, and you can see here the macaws are down under me. I will probably get to them last though. We've got a staff entrance, so staff can get into the thing. And yeah, there's, there's also another, st oh god, get that out of my hand. There's also another um, staff entrance into every other enclosure. So I believe there's one like right there. Uh, there's another one right under here. There's also that one there to get into the booby bird enclosure. Here's the Andine Condor. I've made a bunch of perches for it to sit on, as you can see. I do actually see them sitting on them a lot. I don't see any of them sitting on it right now, which is a bit disappointing. But I've gone for a little deserty vibe. I'm quite happy with it. I mixed in uh, birch wood with sand because they're pretty similar colours. And I've also used chisels and bits mod to cover the sea lanterns with sand because there's no like really carpets that I could use to um that would fit the sand because it's a bit out of colour. And here's the brown booby bird. Um another little fly. I of course added a water area because they are marine birds. They do like live next to the ocean. Um, added some bushes, added these things. I forgot they're called, but I'm gonna put a lot of them in my Oceana, Oceanic um, enclosures, which I will do after the South American ones. But yeah, gone for a rocky beach enclosure. Look at my little, little paddle, look at the little feet. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so nice. And here's the Macaw enclosure. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Oh jeez, he just teleported like that. Um, I will walk in now. Uh, it's a, like a, a enclosed, I, I don't really know what to call it, but it's so if one gets through, it, it's a bit, <laughs> I'm sure you know how it works, but I may have put a few too many enclosure macaws in this enclosure but it's fine because I wanted to get like pretty much everyone I don't know the name of this one this is a scarlet macaw uh, that's the same one that is a I forgot the names they aren't coming to me that's a Hans macaw um, is there any more 
Also, I'm going to be very upset if that isn't a skull. No, it's a blue and gold McCaw, and that's the Scarlet McCaw. Yes. This one's a very pretty one, but I don't know what it's called. And... But they're just dive bomb, I love it. So, I'm probably most happy with this enclosure. It, it just feels very overgrown and the, what I was going for. Um, you have, I think you have the best angle of it when you're standing out here. I just feel like that's a really nice angle. I just took a screenshot. But, yeah, that's about um, all I'm going to say in this video. I really hope you liked. I'm trying to open the door as well. In third. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video because I certainly enjoyed making it. I really am happy with all the support I got in the last birdhouse enclosure and a few of the people that um, developed the mod put it in their server, in their Discord server, which I'm really happy with. <laughs> and yeah, that's most of what I have to say. Um, can't really think of anything else other than uh, a, hundred, a thousand subscribers for the end of the year and bye bye. Take care and take care of your birds. Bye bye.